Oh, isn't it always amazing when FedEx shows up at your door, especially for a product that you've been waiting for over five months for them to deliver? It is finally time to reveal the roller mat that I went with for my build. So stay tuned. So with this build, I knew I wanted a roller mat and I was originally going to go with the Royal Exclusive Sump that included the actual roller mat. However, when COVID hit and other items like that, the shipping was very cost prohibitive to go with that type of sump. So I went with MRC, as everybody already knows from my previous videos, and I was kind of shopping around for different roller mats. I know I didn't want a Claire C or anything like that. It's only four inches. I would be changing that out as much as a filter sock, honestly, with this size of system. So I wanted something bigger. MRC told me they had something coming down the pipe to stay tuned that I could be one of the first ones to receive that. So this is prototype 001, if you will. I did pay for this. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's dive into this and see exactly what this looks like. Overall, very impressed with how it came shipped. I was surprised for the most part it came shipped as a complete unit. I didn't really have to do any assembly. Um, my first impression though was a little bit of a disappointment as I realized it was made out of PVC foam. And my only complaint, again, it's a minor one, it's a cosmetic one, is that the white does not match the PVC that they use for my actual sump. And I did give them that feedback that I would have preferred it to match my PVC sump. So they might be able to go ahead and change it uh, for future models down the road. But either way, I did provide them that feedback and we'll see what they do with it. In the long run though, this is gonna be a lot longer lasting than any kind of quarter inch acrylic assemble yourself type of roller mat that's out on the market as well, uh, like a Claire C or clear roller mat as well. So overall, my first impressions are very good, very well built. Um, I just wish it would have matched my sump is again, a minor cosmetic complaint. All right, so let's well. get this unpacked. The first thing I did was wanted to go ahead and check out the actual roller fleece itself. I wanted to see how fine it was. And kudos to whomever is responsible for shrink wrapping this roll at MRC because dang, this thing took forever to unwrap um, with this shrink wrap. So once that was finally done, I was happy with the actual roller mat itself. I wanted to check the bottom. I kind of wanted to, my concern right now is how loud it's going to be when it's draining from there, as this is going to be draining on top of my two seven inch filter sock chamber. So I may need to modify it if I feel like it's too loud down the road, but we need to install it first. So the roll itself is 21 inches. So with the kind of edge to edge of the roller mat, we're looking at a little over 22 inches. So. Very happy with how it's built. Um, there's the little kind of octagon type shape pipe. And that is the one that goes into the motor that once the float switch is triggered is going to rotate the used fleece roll. There's the float switch. All blue plumbing throughout, very impressed with it. And it operates very quietly. And here's a little an emergency overflow. So if the center gets overflow and the switch doesn't work it'll overflow into there and it'll still drain down from the bottom still so we have two inch couplings with two inch down pipes that actually will hopefully silence the water as it goes down into the actual roller mat section so let's take a look at how quiet it is please excuse the background noise with the kiddos Not that I was expecting it to be very loud, but I'm very grateful that it seems to be very quiet. So we'll see how it goes with the test of time. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the roller mat on top of my sump. It is sitting on top of the two seven inch filter sock chamber. I added my little Dragon Slayer Reef uh, logo there. And I also kind of wanted to highlight the difference between the PVC and the PVC foam. I also felt like the motor should be on this side so I didn't have to redo my plumbing to turn the roller mat around in case I needed to maintain that or replace that. So very excited now to be able to have this great piece of gear. I have been waiting, like I mentioned, about five months for it. I have been holding off on my plumbing because I just wanted to do plumbing one time. Super excited to be able to kind of get this going. So please like, subscribe as we take this reefing journey together on this 300 and 10 gallon display tank with about 150 gallon sump. So thank you very much. 
I look forward to talking to you soon.